Gorgeous day today. It felt very, very fall like we did have a cold front that moved through yesterday on Sunday, but it was just today that we started to get into that cooler and drier air. Beautiful outside right now with sunny skies, but I'm not crazy about the time change because it's already starting to get dark. 66 degrees with a dew point of 35 dew points in the 30s is very dry air. So now you begin to see skin kind of cracking. 67 was our high temperature today, well below the normal high, and our morning low was 54. We had some 40s on the North Shore. I think we're going to see 30s, upper 30s, on the North Shore by wake up time tomorrow morning, and it's going to be the chilliest morning we've had this season. Certainly, temperatures this morning, widespread 40s, even south of the lake, Homa and at Morgan City. Maybe a few degrees cooler in the metro area, more low 50s, maybe some upper 40s, and then on the North Shore, I do think some upper 30s and maybe perhaps cold enough for a few areas of some patchy frost by early tomorrow morning. Not anything widespread, not getting quite cold enough, but certainly a possibility. Our morning temperature started out in the uh, low 50s and then only got into the uh, mid and upper 60s during the afternoon. Now we're so we kind of kept that chill in the air all day long, despite the fact that we had sunny skies. We're in the 60s, already upper 50s in Hammond right now. And as I mentioned, a very dry air mass with dew points in the 30s. That is thanks to a big, deep upper trough, which is going to start lifting away from us. So the coldest of the air is going to get cut off and we'll gradually see a little bit of a warming as a weak upper ridge builds into the area by the middle of the week. There are also some indications that we're going to see this next little upper trough move on in. We call these short wave troughs because this one is not associated with any cooler air. In fact, this little weak upper uh, feature is going to be embedded within a larger upper ridge with this little feature may do combined with stronger easterly winds is start bringing back a little bit of rainfall and our rain chances are going to be coming up slightly some isolated to spotty showers as we get toward the end of the week. But what it's also going to help to do with that ridge is warm us up and so gradually temperatures are going to be getting back into the upper 70s and low 80s. Right now a cool high pressure ridge is sitting over the area and that is going to keep us chilly over the next several days. I'd mentioned our newest hurricane, Hurricane Ada. It became a hurricane at 3 a.m. this morning. By noon, it was already a major hurricane, and now it is a Category 4 storm. Now, this is going to be making landfall likely as a life-threatening Category 4 storm in Nicaragua, affecting Honduras as well. But notice what it then starts to do. It looks like it's going to move inland and then curve back out into the Caribbean. Models, again, this is kind of the long range, but this may be something that we're dealing with in the Caribbean going into the weekend and next week, and something that we may have to watch as we get later into next week. As again, not all the models do the long range thing, but some of them indicating maybe getting into the Southern Gulf. Again, this is a long, long way out and something that we may watch for as again, next week. That new storm has now placed us at 28 name storms, tying the record in 2005. Unbelievable. Seven day forecast, not worrying about the tropics that chill to the air the next couple of days, but gradually warming up and it gets some spotty showers as we head into the weekend. All right. Thanks very much, Chris.